guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. I got so many requests from you guys to make something from Guardians of the Galaxy in honor of the new movie, and that is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. There are so many things that I love about the first movie, but one of the details that I really loved was Star-Lord's music mix cassette tape that he had. It had a very special place in my heart, warm and fuzzy, because I grew up listening to cassette tapes. Let me know in the comments below if you even own a cassette tape or have ever owned it. They're pretty dated now, but my first one was Ace of Bass. <laughs> I digress. Anyways, let's get back to baking business. Today we are going to be making Star-Lord's Mixtape Cookies, Volume 1 and 2. Let's get started. The recipe that we're going to be making today is a chocolate sugar cookie recipe. Yum, yum, yum. The things you'll need will be 2 and 3 fourths cup of all-purpose flour, 1 and a half cups of sugar, 2 eggs, 1 cup of unsalted butter, half a cup plus 2 tablespoons tablespoons of dark cocoa powder, one teaspoon of baking powder, eighth a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and half a teaspoon of almond extract. Now let's put it all together. The first thing that we're gonna do in a medium sized bowl, we're gonna whisk together our dry ingredients, flour, dark cocoa powder, baking powder, and salt. Mix it up till it's well combined and then set it off to the side. Next, cream together our butter and sugar until it's light and fluffy. I'm just gonna be using a hand mixer at a medium speed. Add our eggs one at a time. So you're gonna add an egg, mix it up, scrape down the sides, then add the second egg. Add both of our extracts, vanilla and almond. Sometimes I wish I was like Yondu and I could just whistle and it would just go all on its own, but it can't. We've got both of our mixtures, our wet and dry. Now add all of our dry into our wet and mix together till it's well combined. I'm gonna start on a low speed so that we don't get a big dust cloud and then work my way up to a medium. Dough is ready and now divide it. I'm eyeballing it into two portions. Plop it here, just gonna shape it into a disc and wrap it up tight in some plastic wrap. After you've wrapped your dough into little discs, pop these in the refrigerator to chill for about one hour. The dough has chilled, now we're gonna roll it out. Well, that could have been worse. <laughs> when you're making chocolate cookies and you've got a chocolate dough, instead of flour to sprinkle over the surface, you can actually use some dark cocoa powder. Pick up your dough, place it right in the middle. We're gonna be rolling out the dough a quarter inch thick and into a square shape so we can fit as many cassette tapes as possible. No, officer, I didn't need all the brownies. Time to cut out our cookies. I found this really cool cassette cookie cutter online. I'll put a link down below if you're interested in getting it. Otherwise, you can improvise. You can use what you have in the kitchen. The first shape is just a small rectangle and this is gonna be the main shape of our cookie. These other little ones that I have over here are just for design details. So I'm gonna cut out six of these and then I'll re-roll my cookie dough and make some more. Now remove the excess cookie dough and transfer your cookies to a baking sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper. Use the additional cookie cutters to just put an imprint and make a cassette design. The first thing that we're gonna do is indent the center of our tape with a smaller rectangle, leaving some room at the top. Now I'm gonna use this smaller trapezoid to make a detail at the bottom. Next, with a smaller rectangle, I'm gonna indent the center of the tape. Now I'm gonna indent the viewer window. Now I'm gonna cut out two round circles completely on each side of the small rectangle. Now I'm gonna use a lollipop stick to indent the places where the machine would grab the tape. These cookies are almost ready to bake. First, I'm gonna pop them into the freezer for 10 minutes to chill. It will help them keep their shape while they're baking. Then I'm gonna heat my oven to 350 degrees and bake them for about 12 minutes. While our cookies are baking, we are gonna make some fondant decorations for the top of our cookies. We're gonna make them look like tape labels so that they look like the cassette from the movie. The things you'll need to decorate will be some white fondant, I'm using marshmallow fondant, some edible food markers, colors blue and red, and a ruler. First thing that I'm gonna do is roll out my fondant. Using the two medium rectangle cookie cutters from my set, I'm gonna be cutting out first the larger one and then 
cutting out the smaller one right in the middle. You won't need this middle piece, so you can take them out. Now I'm gonna let these shapes sit for about 10 minutes to harden, and I'm gonna make a bunch more. Take your ruler, you're gonna line it up on top of your fondant. Using the edge of the ruler, draw a straight line with my red edible marker pen, and fill it in. Using our blue edible marker, write Awesome Mix Volume 1 and Awesome Mix Volume 2 right on the top. All of the decorations are ready and our cookies have baked and had plenty of time to cool. And now for our final decoration step, we are just gonna assemble them together. Take a little cassette cookie and a little bit of white royal icing. I put some in a plastic baggie with a number three tip at the end so we'd have a little bit more control. Pipe some icing on the back then place it on the top right there. Boom! Then we're gonna do this to the rest of our cookies. Ta-da! Here are Star Lord's cassette tape cookies that we made today. We made Awesome Mix Volume 1 and Awesome Mix Volume 2. I'll be taking lots of pictures and posting this chocolate sugar cookie recipe on rosannapancino.com, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can check them out there. And if you guys make these cookies, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your baking creations. It just makes me happy. It makes my day. If you have any other ideas for any other nerdy nummies, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. All right, thanks again, you guys. I'm so excited for the new Guardians of the Galaxy. Bye-bye. Oh, child, things are gonna get easier. Oh, child, mm, 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 mm. Mm. This is really good.